Welcome to our introductory lecture in the series Engineering Design, Modeling, and Graphics. In formal university courses, professors spend most, if not all, of their first lecture period covering their syllabus in fine detail. Because this is an online course, I recommend that you go to cadmodelinghub.com, find and read the engineering, design, modeling, and graphics syllabus. Make sure you subscribe so that you get all course updates and correspondence. In this video, I will review and explain the intended engineering design, modeling, and graphics course outcomes. I will also mention the set of design, modeling, and graphics skills you will acquire as you complete assigned tutorials and design projects. You will find this course is evenly divided across topics of CAD modeling and engineering graphics, with the principles and methods of mechanical design woven through both of these subjects. The course begins with the topic of wireframe modeling, which is the set of processes and techniques used to develop two-dimensional sketches. Wireframe and sketch geometries serve as the skeletal framework upon which all three-dimensional geometries are based. Next, you will learn the steps required to turn 2D sketches into surface and solid models. With an understanding of how to build digital models from wireframe, surface, and solid entities, the course will transition to applying this new modeling skill to the design of basic machine components and assemblies. The tutorials that supplement this course focus on both part modeling and simple 5 to 10 component assemblies. Assigned projects, however, will be more complex and challenging. Two of the projects will focus on the design and modeling of mechanical parts, while the other two will challenge you to design and model complex assemblies. In past courses, students have worked together to model such things as steam engines, IC engines, and even the original Wright Flyer. You will learn the techniques and procedures for bottom-up and top-down assembly modeling. You will learn and practice the techniques for designing and constructing reusable parametric models and apply it to both part and assembly objects. You will learn how to read mechanical blueprints, or what we more commonly call engineering drawings. Your knowledge and skills of reading engineering drawings will be strengthened through assigned cad base drafting exercises. You will gain experience creating both part drawings as well as assembly drawings. As a side note, many mechanical engineering students graduate with their bachelor's degree and lack the important skill of reading engineering drawings. For over 30 years, I have listened to, rec to recruiters bemoan the fact that an ever-increasing number of engineering students cannot read nor understand mechanical part and assembly drawings. 
successful completion of this course will give you a leg up on students graduating from programs that have removed engineering graphics from their required curriculum. Let's get back to discussing the drafting outcomes related to this course. You will learn the principles and methods of standard dimensioning and tolerancing. You will learn how to correctly choose and calculate fits between mating parts and how to correctly annotate them on an engineering drawing. You will learn to read and apply GD&T, or what more commonly is referred to as geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. This dimensioning and tolerancing standard provides greater dimensional and tolerancing control while reducing cost and waste downstream in the manufacturing process. In the United States, the GD&T standard is ASME Y14.5. Its international cousin is ISO 128, and we will study and learn both Y14.5 and ISO 128. Perhaps one of the most important things you can learn from this course is how to effectively communicate and collaborate with your peers and associates using modeling and graphics. If you are currently in industry and taking this course, you will gain some techniques and procedures for doing collaborative design using modern CAD systems. This is a high-level overview of the topics you can expect to master as you study, practice, and review the materials contained in this course. I look forward to sharing my knowledge and understanding of engineering design, modeling, and graphics with you as you gain valuable modeling and drafting skills and knowledge. Please take time to subscribe to CADModelingHub.com.